and welcome back to another episode of the Sims 4 Island Challenge. So if you guys haven't seen last episode, then you should definitely check out the last episode because, well, spoiler, uh, we finally got rid of the one sim that has been bothering us. And let me just say that I was reading your guys' comments on that video and I was literally dying laughing. I don't know what about it. Maybe because I knew like the fact that it was all about Serenity. So thank you guys for making me laugh reading your guys' comments. I really appreciate it. But yeah, so also last episode, we ended up getting a new sim on the island. And as we found out, this new sim is in fact Kalia's father who has been, you know, searching for her for quite a while and now has come across her and they are now reconnecting and it now came down to the point that he actually told her about her mother and that she passed and everything and Kalia right now is kind of in a mix of emotions and she's kind of just very distraught and doesn't know you know what to do with herself right now because obviously she's been away from her parents for so long and then come to find out now that her dad has found her her mother is no longer with them so it definitely is very saddening for her and she's kind of just not in a good headspace right now so I completely feel terrible for her but um her and her dad are going to chat a little bit more so unfortunately that is the case but um she does have people here who you know have been taking care of her that are you know here to comfort her so I mean she'll never get over it of course because it's her mother that she lost she wasn't there to witness it she wasn't there whenever it happened. So she was kind of suggesting the idea that she might want to go back and see where her mother is buried because, well, she would like to go and visit the area that she, you know, grew up in and, well, grew up in, well, she was raised in for quite a while. And so I think that's something that they're gonna have to do in order for her to kind of have closure with her mom because, I mean, she didn't get that. So I think it's definitely something that would be a good idea um, for her to get. So I think what we're going to actually have her do is come over here and harvest these. But yeah, so maybe eventually in one of the episodes we'll head over to where her mother um, passed and, you know, see where it was that she kind of was living with her parents. Why are they all like standing over here? Oh, I know why. I know exactly why. I forgot I had autonomy off, so... Now it's back on and they should be fine, but yeah, so also I forgot to show you guys. So Lucia, I gave her a uh, different hair because I was kind of getting over the ponytail and I wanted her hair to be like more down, and so that's that. And then also, they no longer have any clothing pieces, so I just wanted to kind of have it be that they were living all kind of like in, well, bathing suits because like all they have. I was kind of getting over the look of seeing them constantly wearing either their like shorts and like seeing Malachi kind of fully dressed. I didn't, I wasn't really feeling that. So now they're more kind of like, not naked, but like less clothing. Uh, so I still might fix uh, Kalia's outfit because like I like it, but at the same time I'm kind of iffy about it. We'll see if I end up changing it. Also, I did get a few questions asking about Kalia's hair from when she was a child. And I'll link that hair down in the description. I keep forgetting about that, so I'll make sure to link that in the description for anybody who was wanting that hair. And then this hair I featured, I'm pretty sure, in my most recent uh, CC Shopping Haul video. So um, y'all can check that out over there. But um, yeah, same thing goes for Lucia's hair is in that video as well. So text emergency. Sweetie! You do not have a phone to text, so what are you doing? Hello? Ugh, I don't even, there was only one option anyway, I couldn't even do anything. So now that her father's here, I feel like she feels a little bit better, but now she kind of doesn't know whether or not she wants to stay here because she could always go back to where her and her family were before and, um, or unless her father found a new place to live because she might feel more at home there than she does here. But she did also, you know, find Maui and this whole group of people that she's, again, gotten to know. And so it's kind of a matter of her decision of what she wants. Unless, you know, her father thinks that it's best that she, you know, lives back where they used to be rather than, you know, here. But maybe he'll find a place in his heart for these people and might want to stay here instead and not have to go back. But for now, uh, we're just gonna have them stick around here and see what, what goes down. She's very flirty right now, um, but I think we're gonna have her actually head to bed once she finishes eating. Uh, what about you? He's getting tired too. We do have that extra bed 
that we could give to him. And I think our main thing that we should do this episode is definitely get another hut because, well, I feel like having four beds in one hut is a bit crowded. So I think getting another hut would definitely be ideal today. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and have him stop playing. He's learned guitar pretty well, so I'm proud of him on that aspect. But we're gonna go ahead and get him to do some more dining tables for them, or for him, so that we can get twigs. We also got five twigs last episode when we rolled the dice, so that's also a plus. Um, and we do have, I think, two dining tables in our inventory, or three? It's either two or three. I know that we had one previously, apparently, but I didn't even remember that. Let me go ahead and take a look. Okay, so we do have two dining tables, which gives us 16 twigs, because I'm counting them as eight. Um, we also have a bunch of cherries in our inventory. So, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and see. So I'm gonna have him try and get this done today for us, and hopefully all is well. I kinda want them to build up their romance a little bit more, you know, maybe like get some more comfort from him. Cozy up at the bonfire even. For now, I think I'm just gonna place his bed outside only because I don't want anybody to really feel uncomfortable. Uh, not that I feel like that they would, uh, considering, you know, that they know this is Kalia's father. But for now, we're just gonna have him sleep out here in front of a, you know, smelly tree. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so, oh, they're just hanging. You guys are so cute. Oh yeah, also, I gave him some facial hair. Uh, I don't think he suits facial hair, but maybe when he gets older, you know, his face structure will change a little bit. Uh, so I'm kind of excited for that. I don't know exactly when we should age them up into adults because I feel like their teen life could last a little while. And I don't think I necessarily need to have them age up because I don't know if it says that I have to have them be adults. Again, we're kind of doing this our own way anyway. So like we might keep them as teens. So I think we'll just go with the flow and see um, what we decide. Did you finish the table already? Oh shoot, he's so fast. All right, let's go ahead and have him make one more. Then that'll give us 32. Talk to him and, um, you know, tell him about, you know, everything that she found out today about her mother. Why are you awake, hun? Go to sleep. Oh no, did Kato wake you up? Oh, I think he might have. Oh, Kato. He's about to level. Okay, finish the table and then craft a dining chair for me. Where are you going? No, don't go to bed yet. Can you at least please finish this dining chair so I can, you know, do the hut while you guys are sleeping that'd be very helpful so i think we should have enough so with these two combined we get 36 twigs plus the five well we're gonna we're out of the five we're gonna take four so we can get 40 twigs and then we'll take these two berries i believe or, or four berries i'm sorry um from our inventory which i think was actually in um what's her names what's her name and I already forgot her name. Serenity's inventory. <laughs> so we're gonna get two word of two more. And that should be enough for another hut. So I'm gonna actually probably place one, I think, on this part. I kinda wanna have like um I wanna have them on like four corners. I wasn't originally gonna oh actually no, because I don't really want a hut right here. So what I might do is possibly put a hut in this direction. I think that that would might be a good idea. Um, or we could put one right next to this one, like on this side. You know what? I feel like we might do that instead. Or here. Uh, well, no, this is a fishing spot. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put one right here, right next to this one. All right, so I went ahead and actually added the other hut, and I'm having Kalia and her father sleep in this one. So Maui's actually gonna be staying with Lucia for now. I think we'll have Lucia wake up and prepare some food after she goes to the bathroom because uh, Isla is getting very hungry and moody and we don't want that. So we'll have some grilled fruit happening. So also I've gotten quite a bit of questions asking if I'm gonna upload um, my version of the island to the gallery and I will. The only thing I wanna do first is kind of fix it up the way I, well, the way it should be. Well, not the way it should be, but the way I want it to be so that it looks like a put together island. But when I kind of have like the island the way I like it, I'll upload it. But the thing is, is like, if you guys get the island, you guys are probably gonna get the version with the huts because I don't know if I want to take the time to like remove them unless I have the version of the island without the huts. If I do have that version still, then I'll upload that and then you guys can have it. 
but I know that a lot of you guys have been asking me uh, if I can upload it, and I'm more than happy to do that. I just want to at least kind of edit it, you know? But I'm not promising this anytime soon. It's just whenever I'll get the chance to do it. So, I don't know, within the coming weeks or so, I'll try and get it done. Um, but, yeah. My game is kind of low-key lagging a little bit, and I don't know... If it's because I've had Sims open for so long. <laughs> that could be the case, but I don't know. Anyways, we have a dice roll happening. Alright, so let's roll. Are you serious? It's a seven. Isn't seven, um, twigs? Yeah, five new twigs. What the heck is this? Who's trying to cook this? Can you clean this off the thing? Clean up. I do want her, however, to work on her skills. Um, because gardening is her skill that's doing best right now. Uh, she's already level 3 in it, so that's, like, fantastic. So we'll definitely have her come over here and do that. We also have some dead plants here, which is not fun. Uh, and we can have her water them all as well. So, we're gonna actually have Malachi come over here and hang out with her in the kiddie pool. And then, alright, I kind of want Maui to get to know Bane a little bit since, I mean, he is, oh no, he still has the glitch. Everybody was telling me in the comments that the reason why he has this weird walking glitch is because since the way that I aged him up from a toddler to, you know, a child and to an adult, uh, it wasn't like a proper age up, so it kind of glitched him. And apparently it's because of the wild trait, so, I don't know, I just... We're just gonna deal with a broken Maui, is all I'm saying, so... I just hope that Isla won't be like that. <laughs> I want her to be normal. <laughs> Not to say he isn't normal, it's just he's different. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, I have gotten a bit of questions asking if I'm ever gonna do anything with this- with these sims after this series, as far as, like, continuing their lives beyond the island once we finish this and I would love to I haven't necessarily decided if I will but if there is like a high enough demand for it then I might consider it highly uh but for now I'm kind of not necessarily thinking there yet because there's so many series that I would love to do and LP ideas that I have and I guess we'll just see how it goes I understand that you guys would like to see more of them and I understand because then we can follow their stories a little bit more than what we can here because we're kind of limited as far as the island goes because there's so much more I would love to do with all these other sims but I can't like add more sims to the lot I mean I could but I don't necessarily want to deal with more sims because taking care of this many sims is already enough as it is yeah so the thing is like if I were to ever do that I think I would have them live either in separate households or something like that um, and I was thinking, like, I had, a, like, an idea if I were to do it, I would kind of, like, do, like, a rags to riches type of series with them, but I don't know because I feel like that would be very, I feel like I'm, like, I might, I would get bored of that really quickly. I don't know. I, I, rags to riches seems like an interesting series to do, but I don't know if I'd necessarily want to do it with them. So I might just do, like, a whole different type of story for them or a different, like, plot line, um, because it'd be them coming back from the island to kind of civilization and like how they used to be but they're not used to it anymore because of uh you know how they've been living their lives for years on the island so i guess we'll see because i mean for example like malachi and isla they've never experienced like proper civilization before and neither has kalia so it definitely be a different uh approach so i don't know i, I i'm considering it it would definitely be uh, interesting concept for sure. So another thing I mentioned in the last episode was about the fact that we're not going to be having an eighth sim and that I just want to keep my, you know, household the way it is and not have to worry about adding some. But some people were saying that I could get like a mod where I could 
you know, at have more sims. Like, I'd have eight sims and Kato, but that's not what I want to do. I just want to keep it this without, like, having to add mods or doing it through MC Command Center. Like, I know all that stuff. I'm just choosing not to do it. And I was saying how, what we could do to make up for the loss of the eighth sim. Somebody just said, maybe take the levels that we would be earning for them and kind of spread it across all the sims. So that would be 12 levels in total. I think I'm just gonna see, like, what happens because some of them might level up, like, they're gardening to level five and then... Somebody might have, you know, level 5 in fishing, and then I think that's how I might just do it. Alright, go ahead and fertilize. Um, we could actually have a Muhu. I mean, why not? It's not like she's gonna get pregnant. She can't fit any more sims on this island anyways, so that's fine. Um, we can go ahead and have the Muhu a little bit. Oh, Bane's reading! Okay. We are very close to having Malachi uh, level up his handiness skill, so I think we'll just have him come over here and kind of just start um building some stuff not necessarily for twigs but because i want to kind of use some of these things for decorations because like the end tables we could add next to the their bed uh, i'd like to decorate their rooms a little bit more than just the beds because i feel like it would make it a little bit more i mean homey but and i kind of like the idea that it's made from wood excuse me sir i did say that i want you to resume an end table or not resume but I want you to resume the end table, but I want you to, you know. I can't remember which video it was on, but somebody did say that since Maui was, like, fishing out all these guitars, maybe that could be, like, an indication that he's gonna be into music when he gets older, which, I mean, I feel like we could definitely introduce him into music now since there is two guitars, and he definitely could do that, and it could be something that he kind of does for fun since I feel like their fun has been going down a lot quicker because I feel like I never noticed fun going down all that much and it's really starting to bother me a little bit oh look she's wanting to talk to her why don't you go ahead and chat um uh, look she's always so flirty i love that i don't know why it's just she's like a, she's a very romantic sim and i mean i get it i do want their relationship to build up a little bit more i feel like this stage in kalia's life would definitely be a good idea to kind of talk to you know a, what the f did he just? Did he just? Did he just Houdini himself into the freaking fi fire? Where did he go? He just. He, did you see that? He like looked like he went in and then disappeared. Where did he go? Oh. Wait. What? What is happening? I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and have him just dance a little bit here. And then he just reached level eight. So what does level eight entail? So Malachi can now perform basic upgrades on electronic objects. He can also craft an instrument at the woodworking table. <gasps> he can? It's probably a guitar, isn't it? Um, I think. Provided that he is skill level eight at playing that instrument. Oh, okay, so if he were to get a level eight in his guitar skill, then he'd be able to craft a guitar. Got it. That's cool. Where are you heading off to? Um, all right. Actually, you know what? You could, <gasps> no, they're dead. Oh God. Okay. Water all, uh, dispose. Are these all dead? Oh my God. My worst. It's actually not that easy to take care of all these plants. <laughs> I thought it would be. You know what? No. You don't do it, because you already... Actually, no, it doesn't really matter who does it and who doesn't. Oh, look, he's talking to him. <gasps> That's so cute. Look at their relationship. It's going up. It makes me so happy. <gasps> a fire? Kalia! We haven't had a fire on the island in so long, guys. <laughs> like, can you believe it? Wow, throwback to the times that we had fires, like, all the time. Is she going to go grab her? She is. Why? She's like perf she was perfectly fine sleeping. Like you don't need to take her. Oh. All right. Well, there goes that. All right, go ahead and finish this for me. No, don't scrap. No, 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 no. Continue. Why can't I continue it? Are you kidding? Okay, practice this guitar still. Where are you guys going? No, guys, stop being so dramatic. Oh my god. They're the only two that were escaping. From looking at my sims, I feel like they've lost a lot of weight. Like, I feel like their waists are much slimmer than what they were. 
Because even just looking at Malachi, I feel like he's definitely gotten thinner. Even his legs. And then I think Dakota as well. Because, I mean, then again, Dakota was able to gain a little bit more weight uh, from being pregnant. But not, like, just like baby weight, you know? All right, so she's feeling a bit flirty. Her uh, night owl trait thing has popped up. So I think we could get her to go fishing and see if she can catch any fish. Because she hasn't gone fishing at all yet. Oh, she caught something. What'd you get? Oh. Nothing we can use. <laughs> Why do they still have the fire thing? Like, the fire is over, guys. Guys, look who's back. Freaking Serenity. Oh my god. I was meant to um, send her spirit to the netherworld. But I think, you know what? We'll have... Um... Laugh at Serenity? <gasps> Sis, oh my god. Come over here. Laugh, girl. Like, my game is lagging so bad that it hasn't even processed the fact that she's put her clothes on. Oh, now it goes. She's over there, but we're gonna laugh, and then we're gonna send her spirit to the netherworld, because I ain't having this. I don't want her spirit to be coming back here. Hell no. Go and have a nice laugh, why don't you? I need a proper laugh. <laughs> what? That's like such a snarky little laugh. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I just wanted to do it more. Um, oh my god, I forgot to engrave it. Can't wait to see you. You won't be missed. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and release the spirit to the netherworld. We do not want to see her ever. Releasing Serenity's soul to the netherworld will forever free her spirit from this mortal realm. Are you sure you want to do this? Of course. Later. Serenity's spirit is fading away. I don't care. Goodbye. Good riddance. So now it says, you <laughs> Serenity Swan, you won't be missed. <gasps> I love that. What is this? You Snapdragon Flower. Okay. What the heck? Why are you here? Okay, Serenity, I don't want you to be here. Why does it look like it's just like an upper half floating? Like it doesn't even go. Leave us. You can't even hear her swimming either. Poof. Just disappear now. Yay! Gone forever! Oh, Y'all, I'm literally gonna rip my hair out. My game ugh, keeps freezing like every second. Alright, let's get this last dice roll in, shall we? Alright. Okay, five. What's five? Five says, The white god is pleased with the, your achievements. He shines his bright light of wisdom on one of your sims. Sim of your choice gets two new skill points using the skill cheat and spells. Ooh, okay. I might wanna get his skills up because all of his are at one. But let me get Bane to start up the uh, gardening skills. I can give him two skill points, so that'll be level three. So set that. All right, so now he's cool. So, oh wait, I need to play. There we go. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. Hopefully the video, like, footage doesn't seem too laggy. I'm going to try and cut out as much of the lag as possible. But, yeah, it's just been, oh, as it is frozen right now. Anyways, um, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll talk to you guys in a new one very soon. Bye, guys.